Welcome back to Billy Mac Makes. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add these LED deck lights to your outdoor living space. I recently built a deck this summer in our yard and I picked these up on Amazon and I couldn't be happier. There's about 16 in the pack and you have some options. It has this black case. If you were going to embed it in like a stone patio or something you might leave that on but if you're just going to drill a hole and it's just a one inch Forstner bit makes the absolute perfect hole for these to just go right in. Mark out your locations. Now you do want to consider the spacing. They come with 18 inches of wire on either side. So you can see there's two wires there because you're going to sort of daisy chain these things together. And so one wire is going to go to the left, the other wire is going to go to the right. You can see how they just sit perfectly flush with your deck. Now these are on the risers of my stair and so I put uh, two on each step and they really do a nice job of sort of lighting it up. Now here you can see um, you know you just have to connect you know your sort of your light on your right to the light on the left and so on and where it ends is going to plug into your power source. If your deck is already built all you really have to do is maybe remove that one board on the edge and give yourself some access. Here I'm using a huge uh, drilling bit to just kind of go through because this is where my run ended and it's going to go and connect to some power and so I'm just kind of feeding that through. So I did six on the stairs and then I ran some around my perimeter. You can also buy these and these are extensions. If the 18 inches isn't going to quite allow you to connect up, this will buy you an extra three feet. And they simply just put a little more space in between the lights if you need it. Now I used a stapler to kind of keep track of everything and that has a setting that it won't shoot the staple hard into the wood and we don't want to pinch that wire. They're pretty thin little wires. But here you can see my composite deck going together and I got the little sort of picture frame going on the outside and what I wanted to do was have these lights on the perimeter because it's a you know it's not a huge drop. I think it's only about uh, 18 inches to the to the ground so you know you don't need to have a railing but this this light will just sort of let people know the edge is there so you mark it out you drill um, I wanted to have that board kind of loose so that I could figure out my wire management and everything underneath and of course it is important that you feed these through and then their connecting pieces have to go underneath those joists because again you wouldn't want to just have it lay across a joist and then pinch that wire. But once you get yourself organized and you figure out a way to connect all of these and that's where those extenders can come in handy if you need it to kind of go straight down and then underneath some of your framing lumber and then come back up and you'll be able to get all of these connected. But the great thing is that uh, they are connected in parallel. So if one would, were to burn out, the rest are going to continue to work. All right. There is also this adapter which I bought, which is a dimmer. And all it does is it connects just in series, so in a line. Just screw those together. I like to put a little, since this is living outside, in the elements. I put a little electrical tape so it doesn't unwind and ideally so it doesn't get wet. But this is low voltage, 12 volts, and that dimmer is great. It basically gives you a remote control to turn these lights on and off from inside your house or take it out on the deck with you. Now I was, we have overhead lights as well, so I also bought this, which is awesome. It's an outdoor control switch. It's got a little sensor there so it can turn on automatically at dusk and then it can stay on. You saw the options, two hours, four hours, six hours. So I plugged in my um, sort of overhead lights and I plugged in these deck lights. So they're both connected to this so I can turn them on and off together. But because I have that dimmer switch, 
I have this option. And there you can see just how great these lights look. And using that dimmer switch, you can control what your light intensity is. Pretty awesome. I'm super happy with how these turned out. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Think about subscribing and hitting that like button. Take care.